Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm Spike Vegeta here with another Paper Mario randomizer. I actually didn't check. Is that okay? Cool. The controller is connected. Boop. Let me bring this over. Make sure. But yeah, gotta be chapters one, two, three, and four today. That's the async we rolled. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Renzo, thank you for the eight months. Appreciate you, gamer. Hope you're doing well. What you gonna have to do right now? With all of that schlurk and dirk. Oh, F's in chat. Would you go? What the? Oh, I tapped down too many times. Yeah, chat, make sure to stay hydrated. Make sure to take care of yourself. It's also get live split open. Yeah, no, good good call, Luke. Okay, let's get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, oh uh, actually, one other thing real quick. I just remembered I didn't track. Let's actually not start. It was good. It was that one extra. Go mode. Okay, so what all items do we need for go mode? I need five. We'll say six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-two. 19, 20, 22, yeah. So a little bit technically smaller list. I believe I did the math the other night, and I could be off by one or two, but... I think the minimum number of go mode items you need are 19. I think the maximum amount you would need for these settings would be 29. It's actually a pretty big range. Yeah, we're drinking Madrinas, but I also have water here. We're going to make sure that we are very well hydrated throughout all of this. Okay, now we can get started in 3, 2, uh, actually, oh, let me click over here. Now we can start in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, let's see here. Boots, hammer, and what? Okay. That's already one of the things we needed. One down, 21 to go. Boing. Saw three other people have done this async, so. How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm feeling fine. That was like a little worrisome yesterday, but... I think we just have to stay hydrated and we have to make sure we're taking breaks and whatnot. And we're not just like staring at computer screens for too long. Oh, I, yeah, I tried to stop myself, dude. So what did we start with? You, you, and, oh, and you. Little refund badge over there. That's a pretty good early badge to get for money. I don't know if we're gonna get there in time. Um, ten. I'll hold off on that one for a little while. Um, yeah, and let me just hold off on the other stuff in general. But okay, good. That's two more of the go mode items. So major items, both a Koopa Fortress key and a. Uh, The star stone is here, okay. I'll take the item pouch. I like that early on. How many seeds did we start with? Zero, okay. It's a little tempting. God, I just realized Koopa Bros Fortress is massive. Chapter one has so much in it. Why did I come in here? There's no reason. Star stone, item pouch. One, two, three, four. I hate when he shoots me in the middle of it because I'm like, I want the cash, dude. Yeah. And that was like, they've spread to the corners. Okay, Miracle Water. Miracle Water and Ice Power. Go. Up. And we still have enough to be able to just rush chapter one. Sushi, you know what? Yeah, I still want sushi right now. 
Sushi, and I will leave Dolly there for the time being. Toy box is still definitely worth going into next so I can have more shit to sell. That's kind of like an underrated piece of why I go there. Couple of star pieces early on. My man's just out here selling fresh sushi. What the hell? Okay, I think we got all that stuff tracked. Cool. Yeah, at 54, is this actually the second biggest region? I mean, now that we've cleared out a lot of Toad Town, it is. But yeah, early Ralph was loaded. Well, yeah, the Star Stone and the item pouch. I guess in general, just Toad Town had a fair amount in it. But yeah, probably as soon as we can, I need to get back 50 bucks and go out to chapter one. Star piece over there. Little Mega Quake action. Love it, love it. Paracarry, love it, love it. Do I want to go get said star piece? Yeah, I'll grab it. I don't know what all is of value in there. Repel gel, sick. Also, Paracarry is another hard required pickup. So, Mega Quake and Paracarry. Well, what's up, Marsh? What's up, Hatsune? How we doing? Yeah, honestly, just put it all on because I don't know. Hopefully, Mega Quake doesn't cost too much today. Always hit this just in case, because I don't know what chapter difficulty this is. Picking up all this stuff, if nothing else, I can sell it at the shop for some cash. Got a star piece. Got a bell, got a boat, but a boat. Huh, nothing like terribly exciting, honestly. Let me just to like test this. Okay, yeah, it's a low number. So do we want like the star piece? Cause that's basically free AOE with some cash. What were you? Yeah, star piece. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, and it's another massive Mega Quake cost, unfortunately. Oh, well. Partners, so Paracarry was here. The Mega Quake badge was here. And we are done here for now. Okay. Yeah, let me, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and sell whatever shit I have. Yo, what's up, Dark Excel? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. What you gonna do now? I'll take that now. So from there, I just need two bucks. That was the only thing about it. 
which I can probably grab $2 in the tunnels. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Richard? How you doing, baby? There's also, yeah, I guess I should have held on to it and then just used Fire Flower somewhere. Let's go ahead and level up Watt because my shit's going to cost so much anyways. And so I should be at four items towards go mode right now. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah, we got two keys, para carry and Watt. That's all correct. Uh, let's go ahead and just get this information now. Flower Fields is a 31, but we don't have a single seed for it. Yo, Pexkin, thank you, man. Hope the old eyeballs are doing better. What's up, BD Bonk? Yeah, they're doing fine right now. I am going to be better about staying on top of... Oh, you fucking queef nugget. I'm going to be better about staying on top of actually, like, hydrating and shit throughout this. I think I get a little too caught up, and I don't keep agua on me. All right, man. Star piece, star piece, poop, poop, poop. Okay, no, nothing we need. Anything just cool in here? Uh, oh, I can get bump attack right now. I would like that. Is it just bump attack? Okay. And that's all we saw up there. Interesting. So there are 15 points up in Shooting Star Summit is what that means. Okay. Yo, Pex can thank you for the 23 months. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Okay, and now you're kind of forced. I have to go get $2. Which I will do by going underground. Getting this initial check. Twenty-two is like a decent sized number. Oh yeah, that does it anyways. I gotta remember that box. Gives me good shot. Oh, that's good to run into Cooper Shell. Since I mean that is the single biggest region on the board right now. Okay. Let's make our way over then. What also gives me access to Jade Jungle? I'm going to go over here first. Yeah, I think it's fine to go here first. Yeah, honestly, once you get Bump Attack, it's worth it just to run into enemies at the beginning just for the cash. Okay. Bruh. Dude, with it being the biggest region on the board, why, what reason did I have to not trust that? So, I think the most notable numbers are actually Mount Rugged at 38 and... Uh, Freaking uh, Cooper Bros Fortress at 37. Ooh, Cooper Locks Bombet, Fertile Soil. All right, hopefully we don't have to use that, but it's there. Yeah, dude, Bump Attack is the best item. Bruh, what are you doing? Actual Bucket? Actual bucket? Surely it's not two fake buckets, right? All I can actually confirm here is the fertile soil. Hey, okay. All right, so we got some poop over here. 
that's 16 potential points here. Keep in mind. I don't remember which all these bushes have, like, coins in them. Hey, thank you very much. Oh, not actually a lot here. Okay. There is a record that I could just buy for, like, 25 bucks. I have the exact cash. It's a sign. Just buy it. Record. Super hammer. A magical seed. Oh, you can actually give him the Cooper shell early. Yeah, let me just do that now. So that would mean this place has 14 points left if both those things we saw were real. Okay, another fortress key, which would mean there are seven points left. I imagine Mega Quake's gonna take care of this. So I'm just taking Paracarry out more so to get this item if it looks real. All right, so there is a world where you just say that stuff is fake. I'm actually going to do that. I'm actually gonna assume what we just saw was fake. Or the two things we saw there were real rather. I gotta remember, every time you see him, that's just a free star piece. What you gonna have to do? What you gonna do? Shikadur, shikadur, cut. So we found a little surge of items here. Um, yeah, so what? I got one, two. You don't actually count the hammer in this instance. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm at six items. Yo, what's up, Vidya? Yeah, how you doing, buddy? Oh, motherfucker, dude. It's like right in front of the boat in the foreground. That's where you gotta be. You know what? I think this is faster. Yeah, yeah, that was 100% better. Yep. The only other problem is now we're going towards uh, a 50 pack. Uh, going towards a big 50 pack, there may be a bunch in the shop here. Cooper is a very important character to find right now. I also gotta remember that I actually want to buy Dolly before I go down to uh, the prologue. Dolly, unfortunately, costs 30. Yeah! Chris Mack Games, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate you, Gamer. Hope you're doing well. Those early... I'm sorry. <laughs> Those early money woes, dude. Yeah, go mode. We're at 6 out of 22. And yeah, the earlier we get the Koopa Fortress keys, the better.
I think it was smart to just not fight, not chase the fuzzies, and just assume Bombet and the uh, and the bucket were real. Is the spin smash badge any good? I don't personally use it, but like I also don't know everything about every badge in this game for sure. We're also coming here with sushi. I probably should not grab star pieces anymore. I don't see myself going back there. Uh, other than that, though, that was the melody, so boop. Stinky. FP plus. I'll take any items, because if nothing else, I will just sell them. Another fortress key. That's going to stay there, right? Kittymon protect Kimon. Oh. <laughs> Is she over there protecting? Is she over there protecting? <laughs> I already have that. I knew it was fake. <laughs> Keeping watch guard. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You can't beat that, dude. My wife and Kimon have such a deep connection. The, uh, the fortress key gets us to 7 out of 22 checks found. We are Cooper and one final key away from being able to just straight up beat chapter 1, which is one of our four chapters, and get the 37 points out of there. Ooh, the toy train. Okay, so, sir, I would like to sell you all of my shit. I would also like to buy Dolly. So I need what? Actually like 40 bucks. I don't want to sell one of my repel gels. So just give me the toy train for now. And I'll buy Dolly later. That's another item closer to go mode. Okay, so here's the problem. I'm actually like hitting these bushes just for the There's still 23 points here. So this is like your usual decision you got to make about do you save the Yoshi kids or not? Do you save the Yoshi kids? Or do you plan that, eh, the Yoshi kids aren't needed. The Yoshi kids lock three checks. This is at least three items. Uh, okay, you literally are looking for Cooper and you can beat chapter one. Holy buckets. Well, there is a lot of points over there, so. Yo, Nick, what's up, buddy? Thank you for gifting a sub to Blaze. Appreciate you, man. What you gonna do? All right, so there are at least two items here now. Also, yeah, this is an async. Yeah, so don't. 
Like, you can have an opinion on it or not, but if you know what the seed is, like, obviously, don't answer that. I may do some of the Yoshi kids as we're coming by. It's nice having Mega Quake and Bump Attack. It makes this not suck as much. And you can kind of soft play towards it as you're getting the other checks. Yeah, yeah, that is, to note, all four Fortress keys. Want to get scaled up? Oh, I believe that. Yeah, because I forget what those enemies do. Uh, let's go ahead and preemptively level up, I think, Bombette so that we have the AoE. Our first live stream. That's good. Grabbing just some miscellaneous coins here and there. And yeah, I think, I think this is a fine way to play it. So now you come back later on with like the Jade Raven and everything. Because otherwise, even beyond that, Chapter 5 doesn't have a ton of value. It's not a dungeon we need to be. It's not a dungeon we need to be. And Mount Lava Lava is a zero. So we'll save this kid. We're going to go to the other side and save the last kid. And we'll go underwater for the item. And then later on, I will decide if I want to actually do it or not. Yeah, I always stand by. This check is chickens on crack, dude. No, you can't do it blind. So you need sushi and what? Yeah, I want it if nothing else to sell it. Okay. 16 points left over. There's enough other progression I think I want to play too. Again, I can go to chapter two and prologue. I can get more out of the underground. Yeah. You also with the toy train, I think it's worth jumping into chapter four real quick. I think Dolly was back in the other shop. Yeah. So let me sell even more shit. Yeah, let's go buy Dolly. We'll go into, we'll go back into the toy shop. What levels we have to beat? It's the four star spirits on the bottom of the screen that are not lit up. So chapters one, two, three, and four is what we rolled today. What you gonna do right now without ever of us looking doogie? What you gonna do now? Give me that dolly. Let's also drop off the melody. There's still 24 points here. The sooner you can narrow down how much Ralph actually has, I think the better... I am, yeah. It was, I, I stand by, I think I need to stay hydrated. And because I've been honestly bad about that the last few months, staying hydrated on stream. Like right now, my vision is good. As soon as I walked away from the computer screen, I was fine. It was just in the moment, I was like, whoa, okay, what is happening?
So I'm going to be really good about staying hydrated all throughout my streams and everything. I appreciate it because I know there were a lot of people who were worried about me yesterday. But no, we are good. happens like in our job we're looking at a computer screen eight hours a day oh what's up rocks how you doing buddy hydrate you bastard hydrate yeah i think that will help i am not against the idea of looking into kind of like the blue tinted glasses people use and whatnot possibly getting monitors that are more built for that Yeah, blue, yellow, whatever it is. That might be Mega Smash. Another item pouch is nice. We've been selling a bunch of shit. So again, the toy train by itself actually doesn't give you that much. Oh, another magical seed. Magical seed, mega smash, and a Glock. It's really now the cake is where a bunch of stuff unlocks. Magical seed was there. Uh, that was everything I saw, right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. Now let's go to zero and two. We're halfway to being able to crack into the flower fields. Who put this Glock in my toy box? Blooper. Still 17 points underground. If I get a little worried. Yeah, like I may actually shock him here. Go for a paralysis play. I am not very good at video games. That'll be enough to buy me the time. That's such a weird timing for it, dude. We have Paracarry so we can get all three items over here. Nice cutscene iframes. Okay, that officially gives us three letters. Okay, that was actually nice. Oh yeah, we have Heart Finder on, don't we? Oh, Vidya, by the way, both you and Revan messaged me at, like, the exact same time, so. Yeah, I appreciate you. I signed up. I'm looking forward to the uh, Majora's Mask tourney. Should be a good time. I probably could stop picking up the uh, little small coins. 
Yo, girl, I found your doll. They sold it to me for 30 goddamn dollars. Hey, okay. That gets you deeper. That's not a needed go mode item, but uh, that does unlock a fair. I mean, that is like the beginning thing that unlocks like all of chapter seven. So. An egg! I have not found Goombario yet, despite what you see on screen. Yeah, dude, Blitz is very, very fun. I was like, I may actually play some Blitz today on stream. If we've got the time. Cool, that's another check. Oh, I would like that. That's $50. There's value. What you gonna do, slurking on it, dude? Yeah, I'm happy if nothing else to just, you know, provide a little more exposure for it. Majora's Mask Blitz is a very fun way to play it. I selfishly kind of wish it would just be one star spear, or one star spear, one mask you start with and not one, two, three, but I understand, like, that makes it more accessible for people. Frying pants, this place is a 10. It's a five. Conversation about that? Okay, so there's still a world. Okay, so there is some five-point item on him. So, okay, let me move some stuff over. We found the frying pan there. We found the bubble berry there. So, honestly, not like a massive haul out of the prologue. I'll be able to turn in the frying pan. Bubble berry has some value because we haven't found lack of luster yet. Now a cake or cake mix gets you for, gets you uh further into chapter four. What you gonna do? Alright, chat, we're going in for the chapter two haul. A little worrisome that there's still twenty-four points over in Toad Town. But we'll deal, man. We'll deal, we'll deal. There's 12 points over here. Oh, and that ruins key? Oh, I like that. Girl, I like it like that. We should have enough room. That looks like a lemon. So lemon and ruins key. Am I really? Yeah. Yeah, take away all money woes. Let's just do that. Yo, what's up, Rose? How you doing, friend? Go ahead and give me that early. Yeah, that, that's hammer throw. Honestly, it might not be a bad idea to buy hammer throw. We don't have spike shield. And I've got the cash. So yeah, I'm actually going to do that now. Even though we're not actually going to talk to Mustafa, you still need to do that to get this ruins key up here. Okay, it is a real ruins key. It's the first one we found, actually. So lemon, ruins key. That puts us at nine items for go mode. 
obtained. Hit! We did it! Time to forget my daily route of this of this place. Magical seed, okay. We're what? One magical seed now away from cracking the code? From crackalacking that code? Let me update this. Boop and boop. I, I'm gonna get that. I'm 100% certain I have four letters. Or I have three letters now. How loaded is this desert for Rando? There's a lot of stuff here. As soon as you have like a hammer, you're good. I feel like I start with zero seeds all the time, funny enough. What's up, Dirty Thirst? How you been, man? Little HP plus. I haven't updated my badges in a while. You know what? Stress test. Okay, big chapter two. Big chapter two. Big old chapter two. So bump attack doesn't do it for you. What's up, Sonic? How you doing, buddy? All right, I do apparently do not know that timing. Okay, we made it. <laughs> Yo, Waka's bump? <laughs> I don't hate the idea of getting that. Yo, let's check. So I got Mega Smash. Uh, ice Power. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, don't need that. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I think that's the build you want to go with. Yeah, we definitely want to avoid the enemies. They are quite scary, actually. Is that the last magical seed? That is. Okay, so that we officially can go into the flower fields. Another FP plus. FP plus seed. Yeah, I was like, I don't think there is a quake badge left. Let me stop real quick to update all this. FP plus the last magical seed. And what was that thing I just got? Uh, I got the crystal berry. So theoretically 10 points left here. So it is up to me depending on what item I see right here. The lyrics, which don't mean anything. I think I am going to leave behind the five point item left in the desert. That item officially has no value because we already cleared out dry, dry outpost. Always a little worrisome when chapter two isn't bump attackable. Makes that a little more awkward.
But that is now five or two different five point items I left behind. It could be like, which could be like a red berry, could be like a storeroom key. There's a couple of five point items that have some value for sure. The calculator, the mailbag, there's actually a lot. But it's mostly one off stuff. Yeah, and I, Supreme, I think once you level up, like, one time on our settings, I think you can bump attack Chapter 5. So this is one of, I think, the two big value hot spots in the seed is Mount Rugged and uh, Koopa Bros Fortress. Cooper is massive right now. Cooper lets us beat chapter one, likely get Bombette. Well, okay, there's the cake. Cooper is probably locking our ability to beat both chapters one and four right now. I tried. At the very least, we have Mega Quake. So if I do run into enemies, we have big AoE damage. What did I just find? Cake? Yeah. Ten out of twenty-two. The artifact. Oh, you son, of a bitch. This game goes in so hard on the ice traps, dude. Which, by the way, I love. I think it's fucking hilarious. Palace key? Okay. That is, I hope, an item I don't care about. I was like, hold up. Another ruins key. Okay. That's 11. Dude, where's my boy Cooper at? No, I tried so hard. Not so far. I blocked an attack. My God, it's a fucking Christmas miracle. Let me preemptively ruins key and palace key. Officially halfway to go mode. Hip, hip. Oh, hell yeah. I should really actually put those on. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Get enough rest? I did. Yes. Thank you for asking. I really think I was just looking at a screen for too long yesterday. It definitely threw me off because I was like, I'm, I'm not used to this. Like, where did this come from? Damn, they're out here doing four, dog. Let me go about my day. Well, so is my, the next play, I mean, the next play, I guess, is go to chapter four. Go back and clear that out officially. You got a cake. It's effectively progress. Man, what the fuck? So we're going to get him to confirm he real. Yep. So there's that. That's a wrong goddamn partner, dude. I'll take that item pouch, though. So 9 and 12. So there's only, once again, Cooper's not here. There's a five-pointer. Hey, honestly, good pickup. Okay. Honestly, that was a very solid pickup. And what was that? An item pouch? 
And what was the minor item? I just got the red berry. Yeah, red berry. We, we stay in red berries in this household. Yeah, you either go back. You know what? Take your seeds. What you going to do now? Sugar dirt, sugar dirt cup. Yeah, I'm calling a pivot option. I'm going to go in here first. So in base, Paper Mario, am I the only one that regularly used Goombario? I did not mind Goombario, but like, it's kind of the same thing as Cage 2 Rando. The stuff that we usually are like, eh, that's not very good. It's because you're in a randomizer and you're out of context. You're getting stuff completely out of order. The game casually gives you less powerful tools and then later on gives you more powerful tools. So in a Rando where you're getting stuff completely out of order, you're probably almost immediately Goombario is going to be outclassed. Now, using him regularly, I definitely stopped after I got better shit. All right, so let's just come here and get a lot of this Sphere Zero stuff. You got this item, which is a cake mix. Okay. Hey, that's if I find a cookbook, that takes care of anti-guy. I like Redberry because it's just five checks. You don't got to do shit for him. See how tough chapter six is. Oh, fuck. I oh, fuck. You piece of shit. Power bounce. Okay, that gives us something to do with our jumps. That's a little more exciting. Got a life shroom. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I, I would, in fact, like that. As they say, girl, I like it like that. You know what? I have a I have a cake, but the cake mix could be how I make the lemon treat. Ah! Ha! Not a fan. You know what? I thought that would be more than that. I should have put on power bounce. I was like, I don't want to lose this much. That's the only thing bad about the red berry is that this room kind of blows. Bubba Tag, was there anything else cool to put on? Again, there is an FP plus power bounce. Jesus. Yeah, we're back to another seed where shit is expensive. Shit be expensive. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just give it the bubble berry. There is a reason why you would want to save scum this stuff. Because you need another one to get over here.
Dude! Bro. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Just... Is it once you get hit by one, do all the others hit no matter what? You can block them. Yeah, I, I, I don't get the timing then. This one I can once again I can peek an item. I knew I I ah, the lob shot of destiny. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus. No, like I visually see when they start attacking. I just don't get it. All right, so the only way we need a bubble berry at this point. Ah, oh, queef. Dude, I fucking hate the solid rock-based grass, dude. Holy shit. Well, so far, it's looking like you just didn't want to fucking come in here, dude. <laughs> this was just shitty and ass. Yo, man, eat this yellow ass. I'll say that's, I don't know. I mix up quick change and like dizzy attack. Bro, I don't even know what you were. Why are you shooting me, dude? I don't even know what the fuck you were. <laughs> I mean, cool. I should just not come in here, dog. This place is rude as fuck. <laughs> right. So, like, here's the thing. I'm convinced the item that gets duplicated and faked out the most is the fucking ultra stone. So I was walking up to it like, bruh, <laughs> bruh, bruh. <laughs> okay, you've had that same experience, Supreme. I, I, I get, I gen seeds where I'm like, there's like six ultra stones, but you know there's only one. Oh yeah, just fucking all caked up with fake stones. Alright, well, a lot of these chapters, the majority of them, we are leaving shit behind. Bruh. So how much HP is this? Life is so hard. Just fucking Jesus. Mega Smash. I guess I was just gonna cost too much. 
Yeah, I... Doggy. Yeah, 12 kind of fucking blows. That is just enough to where we can two shot them. I think no. I think no. Bruh. We could save FP, I guess. I think it's like just enough range to where you say fuck it. Yeah, it was four FP shell shot. Yeah. Oof. Like, how much does this do again? That's not even shit in my ass, dude. Yeah, so this'll kill this one straight up, yeah. It's been way more fun. One FP shell shot. Oh, that sounds so nice. I've had that, I guess, actually. I think last seed we did. Is lime? I, I really want lime to be FP. That's the only problem here. Okay, FP. So I'm going to have 14 FP. I can do two quakes. That's actually just enough for this. Yep. Bruh. 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 Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't care. So we'll just regular skydive with you. Yeah, cool. This was a lot of commitment. So there's a bunch of shit I left behind. <laughs> That's just the truth. There's a bunch of shit we left behind in different places, and we'll see if any of them bite me in the ass. Let's go turn in the dictionary. There's 17 points underground. Can I? Nope. Turn in the frying pan, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that entire chapter six part did feel like shit. <laughs> that did, in fact, feel like shit. Um, where the hell am I going? What, what was I doing? Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to Toy Box. What you gonna do now? Yeah, thankfully, star pieces, we don't really have to worry about this. Yeah, what am I doing? Cooper locks so much. <laughs> 
Cooper locks so much, dude. Where you at, bitch? Bitch, where you at? Oh, hold up. Yeah, those are like, let's take you out. Oh, God. It's so... It's so expensive. Holy shit! That is not flattering. <laughs> he a big boy. Trust me, I was a fat kid once. White is not flattering on us fatties. Oh my god, I've been shot in the face so many fucking times. Yo, damage dodge, I, I fucked with some damage dodge. Right, let's be clear. I didn't stop being fat. I just turned into an adult. <laughs> it's the old toy box Glock again. Hey. To note, we haven't gone to chapter three at all. If you're looking for Cooper, Cooper cannot be in chapter three. Other than Gloomy Gulch. That's the only place where he could land. Dude, if he's on Yoshi Kids, y'all know what I'm doing. <laughs> we do be shitting them pants. We're getting down to where there's only so many spots left, right? There's only so many spots. He could be in Toad Town. The only other check underground I can get to right now would be the other blooper. Dude, I'm gonna cry if like Bomb Bet was fake or some shit. Oh my god. And he's locked behind beating the goddamn fuzzies. But I'm gonna believe that. There's a five point item out in the desert that I may have left behind. It might just be locked behind on Colorado's tree. Stingy! I don't have bow. So I can't do much of anything here. Oh. Well, if you believe that, you need Bo to beat this seat. So this is really just information. Uh-oh, Stinky. If you believe that, then you gonna need Bo to beat this seat. Yeah, honestly, without Bo or Bombet, the cake isn't as big of a payout as you would think. Oh, where the fuck am I going? I So I did everything I could in the flower fields, just to be clear. I still can't go to chapter seven. I need super boots or bomb bet to get there. I now can do... Three additional checks. Oh. Okay, well, there's another one of the items we needed. That's good, at least. Do you want to just level up Watt right now? Sure. And a red key, so that's enough to make me say I'm going to believe at least that other item we saw was real. 
Oh, I can... Uh, I turned in the dictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, where do you want to go, man? Do you want to go back to chapter five? I'm going to actually go into the flower fields first. I'm going to go in the flower fields first. Ah, <sighs> Well, it can't be the ice area right now. The ice area is cut off to us. You need either super boots or a bomb bet to get in there. Both hard required go mode items, by the way. There's go to chapter three, finally. This little, like, back and forth right here. Yeah, like, how do you... Uh, like, do I have to talk to her that second time there? That's always a weird little interaction. So this is three checks. Dude, it's gonna be so sad. <laughs> when he's on... He's, like, fuzzies locked. But we saw some fake ass bullshit. Bomb bet specifically would have to be fake. I think I'm gonna go save the Yoshi kids. Super booties. Booty, booty, booty rocking everywhere. Hold up. Hold up. Waterstone locked the booties. Cooper, fall out of this fucking tree if you know it's good for you. Go damn it! Booties, booties, booties rocking everywhere. I am going to take those. That lowers flower fields to just a five. Uh, I am going to go underground. And uh, I guess we're going to end up hitting that shortcut. Do you want to save scum the other blooper first? Yeah, fuck. Chad, are you ever just like, fuck? Because that's me right now. Everything costs too goddamn much. Blooper. Let's just see, because either way I go, I'm going to be running into another blooper. Power bounce this bitch. Fucking goddamn it. <laughs> it's so. Th oh, it's super boot, so it's delayed. I forgot it's got that extra fucking wind up on the ass. Fuck. Fucking super boots, dude. Okay. Oh, I suck. Fuck. Dude, this game is trash. I've been saying that for years. Wait. <laughs> We got them. I forgot that little extra flippy do in the air he does, dude. If Cooper's here, I swear to fuck. Pfft. 
That would lead to another five point item. I did. Just hold, please. I I wouldn't be able to save Scummy. Ah, this is all bad. Ah, this is all bad. Oh, this is all bad. Oh, every bit of this is bad. Fuck. Fuck. I should have just threw the thing in the trash. Like, there's five points here. I don't care. Ah, uh, I should. Let it be known, I should have thrown this in the trash. That's actually, like, such a shitty item to be there, dude. Yeah, just eat this blue ass, dude. And then he's gonna... This is gonna give me some five-point piece of trash. And I'm like, well, now I gotta go check this fucking thing. I, I still don't have, like... And then from there, I'm definitely safe scumming some shit. So yeah, blueberry. Fuck. Mega quick. And then absolutely shock one of these fuckweeds. Yeah, I'm going to go to seven. I am trying to save scum my way through all of this trash. So in all honesty, doesn't have like a ton of value. This is like one big save scum of a lot of trash. The problem is we've played aggressive, like running away from some checks. And now I'm ending up like, where the fuck is Cooper, dude? Bruh. Cool. And back we go. Oh, yeah, I couldn't just swap members first. Um. Oh, I didn't put. My, whoop. Everything's hard, dude. How, how expensive is Squirt? I'm going to change member to one. And to know, yeah, so if you're looking at doing the math, Cooper could not have been in there, but Cooper could have been locked behind any of that shit. How far into Cooper Rose Fortress can I go? I can't get there. You need Cooper to get there. Oh, I was literally reading chat. Now, I have all four Cooper Bros Fortress keys. Theoretically, as soon as I get Cooper, I can beat chapters one and four. I am just... Uh, the lob shots are so hard, dude. Okay, let's stop being fucking stupid. Oh, 
It's fine. You don't need to block any of this shit. That's overrated. I wish I could time any of my button presses, but I can't do it. How much? That's five. Okay, if I can just... Fake fuck. First time you watch it, it's a randomizer. It's a very fun game. But yeah, randomizer, you are kind of looking at it like totally out of context. You need to play the game casually to understand the context of any of it anyways, right? Would stuff make more sense if it was the normal progression of the game if you've never played it yourself? I'm skipping all the text and everything. Well, a ruins key, I could... Yeah, let's go ahead and buy triple dip. We are officially good to go on ruins keys. Look under the ice. A little shooting star, love, okay. If you really wanted it, you could have the shooting star. So there's not much odds Coopers here. And again, I keep making a big deal about Cooper. It very well might just be, you know, you had to fight the Koopa King and he's got fucking, I don't know. Let's look at the five point items. The mail bag and the mail bag is your Cooper. You know, there's a lot of possibilities for that sort of shit. At which point I was playing, I guess, aggressive, so. Chapter two, you have so much shit for. The only stuff you still need is the pyramid stone and the, uh, and the actual pulse stone itself. So after here, yeah, we'll go Yoshi kids. From there, Lackaluster is locking the last of our points, potentially. Lackaluster and Ultra Boots slash Ultra Hammer. To note, I can't beat five, six, or seven yet. So there's no like, go beat a bonus chapter at this point. Yeah, they're all multiple items away. I would need Lackaluster and the Bean for six. I would need 16 items for seven, including Cooper and Bombet. How many Paper Marios are there? How many actual paper, how many Paper Marios are there? There's like what, like four or five, six? Yeah, there's a bunch. But yeah, this was the first one in the series. Two good ones? Hey, I know people who think Super Paper Mario is the best game in the series. But obviously that is extremely subjective. 
I... Or through uh, with headless, I cannot follow it for shit. I always rec I always uh, encourage people to ask questions, Rain Man. I'm always happy to help people out, understand the things I'm doing, so they're not as confused. What's that? Could partners be in the shop? They could. I, I checked the shop when I came in, if that's what you're asking. No bucket or scarf, scarf to drop off. Cookbook. Interesting. We could... That puts anti-guy in logic. So what that leads to is Cooper also can't be out over here. Again, there could be something that's locking Cooper. Yeah, I was always kind of guessing. I never know when the fuck to block that. Yo, what's up, BP? How you doing, gamer? <laughs> like, am I going towards... <sighs> Do I want to go talk to Anti Guy? Oh, what am I doing? This place is done now. Well, I think that kind of settles where we're going. I think that kind of settles where we do be going. Oh, let me do this. I'll take feeling fine. Especially if I did want to potentially skip over some stuff. Feeling fine's really good for the underground. What you gonna do now? Sugar dirt, sugar dirt. I have heard the same. I've heard Minish Cap Rando is extremely fun. I guess if you're assuming that Koopa Fortress key is real. It took, it. I have one less item in my shit. So where am I going? Or did I just say chapter five, chapter five? Yup, yup. Like I naturally want to play away from five pointers. 
But sometimes it does, in fact, bite you in the ass. So I'll probably save the other two kids along the way here. I should have double upgraded Paracarry in all honesty. Why did I see yeah. Like I want him, I want her for combat, but. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, we're gonna save the kids on the way. And like, here's the other problem with this check. Even after you do all of it, it's not done. Like, I then have to go talk to the, the chief. Yeah, there's a world where that's a thing. What's the typical length of the vanilla game? You check how long to beat.com, that's probably the best way to do it. I would guess a vanilla playthrough of the game is like probably. 20 to 25 hours, somewhere in that ballpark. If I had to just kind of throw out a random number. Like, this is being as efficient as possible. And again, the good thing is you are doing, like, other stuff along the way. Yeah, and I don't know like how you necessarily nerf this check. It'd be nice if I didn't have to go talk to the chief, I guess. Like I just got the check right there when I saved the five kids. But like getting around this place like is not fast. It's actually very slow. Star pieces and boss castles, yeah. Completionist said 33 hours. That sounds probably about right. If you're actually trying to do like everything. <laughs> Holy fuck, Cooper, you suck ass. Jade Raven locked. Are you here still for the seven? I want to check a little deeper. I want to say he was here the other day. So that's not Yoshi Kids Locked. Hey, I'm glad I didn't leave. All right. So Yoshi kids didn't have jack shit. There was no reason to save the Yoshi kids. Boop, boop. There's... <laughs> that was so much progression that just opened up. That was so much progression that just opened up. Holy shit, it's Bombad! <laughs> I 
Alright, and just to 100% confirm, this area is done. Yep, okay. So we were right to skip the douchebags. Boop. Boop. And now let's go full clear all 37 points over here. We can beat chapters one and four. I know, I had said the whole time. So that is 13, 14, and 15 out of 22. And there very well will probably be at least a little more here. This is definitely by far the biggest Koopa Bros fortress I've ever seen. No, I'm like, that's what I say about the Yoshi kids. Like, it, the check sucks, for sure. I think it's one of those you kind of have to make a commitment to it early on. Ultra Boots, which gets us at least a little more underground. And also buffs us. That's Quick Change. That's... Do you go out of your way for quick change? Not technically needed, but it's safer just to pick it up. Definitely safer just to pick it up. All right, so again, now what do you need for Drummond? I can beat one, I can beat four. Actually, am I really only 15? What am I missing? Is it just two Koopa Fortress, two or tub of castle keys? Yeah, I, I, I'm apparently behind on my count. Yeah, I only need four items. I only need four items, so I, I was just not counting shit along the way, apparently. Yeah. Now, there's assuming what, or uh, that tub of castle key was correct. You need bow. There's a lack. Not hard required, but... That does get us more in the underground. It opens up a little more of chapter six. Yeah, and a couple nine pointers, this place depletes pretty quickly. Yo, thank you, Violet, I appreciate that. Oh, and it only costs one, thank Christy. Damage dodge is also cheap. Oh, we actually do have, like, some okay stuff here that's pretty cheap. Yes, the only two nine-pointers left are bow and the ultra hammer. Real quick, how much is... Oh. <laughs> it's somehow more expensive. We can get out to the gulch. In general, you could just like play to chapter three after this. BP is also randomized, yep. Or cost anywhere from one to six. But yeah, this plays down to 12 and actually not giving us one of the progression items may indirectly be giving it to us. Okay, so there's a seven point item left here, which at this point, there's only five seven pointers left. 
Which, by the way, you're going to the Crystal Palace. You're not for sure, but you're going to the Crystal Palace to beat this suit. There's a seven point item there. Oh yeah, oh no, it is, it's 100% guaranteed. You have to go there. Dude, I disagree. You have to go to the Crystal Palace. One of your four items you need for go mode are there. Because the scarf can't be there, and it's the only non-hard required 7-point item we need, so. I don't really have, like, a visual cue for this jump. I just kind of come down and then try to jump around. Yeah, it's like you need to be, like, hanging off the edge a little bit. Okay, what I always say I'll give this three tries. Then after three tries, I just can't do it. Then fine. I haven't... I haven't had to do this yet. I always fail at, like, either none or one time. Camera zooms out. It does? Okay, yeah, that one looked like I kind of clipped into the block and it killed my momentum. Okay. Okay, fine, we'll do it the... So, I think the second fastest way to do this... He was not on Yoshi Kids. Nothing was on Yoshi Kids. Him and the Boo Portrait were both Jade Raven locked, which you had to go to Chapter 7 to get the Jade Raven. I think the, if you're not going to do the jump, I think paracarry is just faster to do it this way. Now, I saved all the Yoshi kids. I didn't get the reward for it. I'm not going to bother getting quick change, dude. I think that's a little faster than hitting the switches over and over again. But obviously quite a bit slower than uh, the Cooper hits. But much faster than failing the... Or not the Cooper hits, the Cooper jumps. Alright, well, one of the other two things you need. Either the Pulse Stone. Okay, then it's whatever is out here. Four Koopa Fortress keys and Bombette locked this. Okay. Yeah, you could go underground if you want to check that stuff, plus Lack of Lester. You don't have the Ultra Hammers. There's one check I'm not going to be able to get to. Pulse. And you are looking for a... Uh... And you are looking for Bo. You are assuming you're looking for Bo. I'll give Anti-Guy the candy anyways. So it was a lot of buildup, but it was actually only one of the go mode items was here. The rundown of the regions, the Koopa King has a five point item. So this is nice, because doing it this way, I'll be able to knock down and skip their attack.
Yeah, Mega Bomb, as it turns out, costs a lot. So if I could level up Paracarry for an alternative AoE, that'd be nice. But it's also not something too much to worry about. Ralph will be able to look at his next two sets of items. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Ronnie? Oh, why, ah, ah, ah. All right, so there's one chapter down. Now we'll go beat four. Two, I'm not in a big rush to run into chapter two. I really don't want to have to double dip that place. Ideally, if I just go there with the pyramid stone, we get whatever points are in there, and then I'll go down to the Colorado tree, and if the Colorado tree doesn't have it, then I will go down to that one item we skipped and get the five points. Yeah, I mean, f feel free to form your own op opinion, Legion. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think starting with Paper Mario is good. These games are very fun. Very fun, charming games. So let's go talk to Ralph. Is there any other like quick item turn-ins that I could do? I don't think so. No, 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 no. Yeah. What you gonna have to do right now with all of that slurking, dirt? Yeah, see if Ralph's got something. Did I ever buy the last tub of Castle Key? That's like my only, or the other one. I think, I, I want to say I did, actually. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, sell it to me. So that's seven. There's 14 points left here. Oh, there was, there was one way. Honestly, well, yeah, now give me that. What you going to do now? Sugar dirt, sugar dirt, okay? Here, let me check the in-game tracker. Yeah, it's... Okay, so I bought the one that I knew about. Yeah, I wasn't thinking... There was a chance that the magical bean could have been out at Chapter 7. I was like, that's a quick enough check. Let's just get rid of it. Go to the red station. We probably need bow. Where are areas that bow could be? Bow could be locked behind. Bow could be on uh, fucking Ralph. Bow could be underground. On the entire right side of the tracker, the only place Co Bo could be would be in the Gulch. Yeah, so Gulch, she is maybe <laughs> chapter... She's maybe in the Dry Dry Ruins. That's a little scary. But yeah, I guess there's only four areas where she could be. Oh, yeah, I can just do this, can't I? Yeah. What are we at? Stinky. Bro. Just 
just leave. You're trying to walk around in the lag and get all the items. It's actually never worth it. <laughs> it is actually never fucking worth it to go back for shit, dude. Hey, Kelgen, I'm actually doing a Donkey Kong 64 randomizer right after this. So, if you want to watch it, we'll be here. Oh, uh, there's a little, like, two-pack. I am saying, dog. BJ, you want to race? I can send you the seed if you want. If you want. This is actually a spot where I, I think this fight benefits from quick change. I would have made the time back. Next time for sure? Okay, cool. I guess chapter four rolled low enough to where actually maybe not. So the problem is, if you're like, I, I don't want to go back to chapter two until then. There's not like... Like, either chapter two or three, you might be double dipping because you have to go to the Crystal Palace. Yeah, I have not seen a 25 rolled there. That's actually nuts. You been ghosting him? Dude. Give the man some love. He just wants to donk it up. That's right, Riley. I love you. You're good, buddy. That, <laughs> I will say, at least that attack timing, that block timing makes fucking sense. Shock block. You block right after the shock. I made back all those experience points that I lost from the fucking sniper back there. Imagine not 69ing with the boys. Dude, we're not even 69ing with the boys anymore. We're 60. What is that even? Are you just hugging a body pillow? What are you doing? So if we assume, so what? We only know of seven, the one in the Crystal Palace. And if what we saw, if the Tuba Castle key here was real, then there's two sevens left. Which can we determine if, try to see if we can like do some math and figure that out. Four threes, yeah, that could be two fives and a three. That could be two fives. Tuba Castle has two threes in it, straight up. It's here. Or do you want to go to chapter three? I'm. I think I'm gonna go underground. I'm gonna talk to Ralph. I'm gonna go underground. I hate double dipping dry dry ruins, dude. It sucks. Double dipping dry dry ruins is just not a fun time. But it might be what we have to do. Yo, Ralph, you got anything, bitch? No, I saw some clips of it, but I uh, I did not.
Yeah, so it seems like... Yeah. Yeah, let's find out what, what's down here. No, I actually, I have played Illbleed before. I think that game's fucking hilarious. I know DP's a big fan of it. Oh, actually, I do want that. Fucking, okay, Bo, there's a three-pointer left here. That's probably a tub of Cassidy. That is actually a relief to find her down here. And you know what? Let me just go immediately find out if that's a real tub of key. Yeah, honestly, that so lackluster locked bow. Now, where was lackluster? He was out in the fortress. So you go to the green station. Okay, so... Ultra Hammer now has to either be Gulch, Toad Town, or Dry Dry Ruins. Just to have an idea, like, it'd still be nice to see the Ultra Hammer, but we don't need it to beat the seed necessarily. The only four checks that Bo locks on my settings. If you want to go aggressive, honestly, just don't even check this. I was like, ah, it could be like a power plus or something. Or a mega jump. What you gonna motherfucking do? Okay, it was a real castle key. So there's three points like that. Okay, and that's bam. Tub of castle key. HP plus. Okay. Now go to chapter three. Yeah. There's there's a world where the last tub of key could be along the along the way here. Do you want to go underground? I kind of want to go underground. Yeah, I think you go underground. Yeah, you know what? We have a couple of power blocks. I'm gonna do that. Yo, 69 coins though. I also just uses the items. So there's less shit I have to throw away later. You are officially two items from go mode, one for chapter two and one from chapter three. However, the way this is gonna work out, is that you're gonna need the scarf because one of those two items are up in the Crystal Palace. Guaranteed. Because these are all the seven point items left. Just those three. And the scarf can't be up there. You need the scarf to get up there. I kind of wanted to... Uh... 
So there's 13 in the Forever Forest, but that actually includes these two items. So I'm actually going to elect to at least do this stuff first, and then we may come back. Okay, a Bubble Berry, which that eliminates the possibility of a 7 being there. It could be another 5. Are badges random pricing? Uh, do you mean for buying badges? I don't think shop prices are random, but I could be wrong about that. I have not noticed that. If you mean just like how much they cost to equip. Okay, the other seven is here. The other seven has to be here. We know that's fake. Caught ourselves. Okay, we can beat this chapter. Um, I can, well, shit. Oh, I could have. I there, there was no reason for me to get. Okay, so the pyramid stone is in the crystal, the crystal palace. You are looking for the scarf for go mode. That was dumb of me. I I spawned the fight in. I should have just shot right down. We were done here. So what this means is the scarf cannot. I was like, yeah, is there anything I care about here? A part of me was like, would it somehow be faster for me to just quit out and then go back to the thing? I think there was an argument for it. Uh, there, the the scarf cannot be in Toad Town. Just to note. Which means that the Ultra Hammer has to be in Toad Town. I think so, because you can't you can't get there on fives and threes. Oh no, you could. You could go a five and three threes. But is that happening? How many threes are left even? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's probably some math you could do to determine that. So, I think what that means is the scarf either has to be in Gusty Gulch or it has to be out in the ruins. So, this could be the Yellow Brick Road, but it's like pretty hard determined where the end of the seat is. Which means you then just run through Chapter 7 until you find the Pyramid Stone. It would obviously be much nicer if just the scarf was out here. I got a rack. But that's nice. I'm going to be able to one cycle chapter three, and this hopefully leads to... I don't ever one cycle... It's rare when you get to one cycle chapter two as a whole... Because there's so much shit outside of the Dry Dry Ruins. But you would like to only have to actually go to the Dry Dry Ruins one time. Oh, 
Okay. So it's we have to go to the dry dry ruins. I apparently miscounted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a five and three threes is what that means. Okay. You gotta you hard have to double dip dry dry ruins. I don't know, I think that was a live shroom back there. Uh, so I think we're just running through here then. Yeah, that's too bad, man. The hard force dry dry ruins double dip. But at least we logic logic to did out. None of these like five five pointers I've left behind mean anything. Nice dodging. So I'll probably check Ralph to see like, yeah, does he have mega jump or something? I hadn't actually run into a chapter three. Oh, I guess we had before. Okay, spike shield. So we've got that for Junior Koopa now. And there's one of the other three-point badges still here. Power jump. Uh, HP plus, FP plus, damage dodge. Uh, feeling fine. Take off. Bump. Uh, leave on bump attack for now. Uh, what was I going to put on? Oh, the power plus. The power plus. Um... What's up, Jobber? How you doing? So I, I thought I was topped off anyways, but... It's, it's little things like that where you can save time all over the place. Just being smart about that. Uh, so what was it we found there? We found another item pouch, and we found the ultra hammer. Yeah. So yeah, all the nines are gone. Now it's just a long go mode. I feel like this was probably the least shitty of the async so far. Here on Async 4. Would this not classify as bra mode? Not really, because, like, we know where it is. I think part of bra mode is you're just blindly checking shit. Like, I have no idea. I know the scarf is somewhere in Dry Dry Ruins, and I know the Pyramid Stone is somewhere over in the Crystal Palace. Yeah, I would agree. I think it's more like full-on casino mode at that point. We're just like, fuck, dude. I know the rest of the seat. I just don't know where this one fucking item is. And you're just opening shit for at least 15 minutes. Like, where is the thing? <laughs> Come on. With this face. Dude, let's make it happen. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. Exactly. We're probably gonna have that here in DK64 very soon. She's seen Power Rush or Mega Rush. So definitely like the way you're thinking about taking out Bowser. I don't want to talk to you. 
I guess that was my fault, but I did. Would definitely be triple dip items. I have eight. I could get the shooting star, maybe. It'd be nice to up your value by one HP. Where'd you go, Nandy? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Nandy? Fuck! One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's the usual. He's going to have just enough time to get off an attack. Yeah. I guess power jump would have been faster there. I actually didn't kill one of them. I might be able to sub three here. Depends on how deep they buried a lot of these items. Like how far into... Trigo Ruins can only be so slow. It's really how far into Crystal... Because either way, you have to go through all of Dry Dry Ruins. It's just where I have to break it off at. I didn't even say I was gonna. I was like, I may be able to. Maybe able to that that's not putting a stone cold guarantee on it. What you gonna do? You're right here first, folks. No, shut the fuck up! No! So the Jade Raven overall locked. Because the Boo Portrait. You actually did not need the Boo Portrait to get that key. No, you didn't. I mean, you needed the Boo Portrait to get deeper. But yeah, the Jade Raven, you... Did you have to double dip, or could you have technically gone up there early? Because the Pull Stone... Yeah, because then Cooper locked the Pull Stone. You had to double dip Chapter 7, no matter what. I'm going to end this man's career. Hey, that's up to him if he wants to. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah, Cooper was the big bottleneck. He was Jade Raven locked in the jungle. My man was... I will definitely check Ralph, because he apparently has probably at least one good badge on him. Which, to get the Jade Raven, you had to go up into Chapter 7. It was Warehouse Key Locked. Which means you needed to Sushi slash Super Boots your way. Because Bombette was locked by Cooper. See, the only way to get to Chapter 7, you had to Sushi and Super Boots it. Which, Sushi you had very early on out of a shop you could buy. Where were Super Boots? 
Now, where were boots one? In flower fields. Yep, yep, yep. I'm actually going to elect to do this. I'll take a six point damaging item right now for a Bowser build later. So here's something I've noticed that I'm wondering. Can underwater items not be fake? I've never been blown up by an underwater item, and I wonder if there's some limitation. Because they can't be fake. All right. Because that's good to know for routing. It's just like, hey, if you see that there, what am I doing? Why am I here? Uh, chat, I was talking to y'all. I was not paying attention. <laughs> We're gonna have to go back there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Underwater items can indeed. Oh, they can. Oh, yeah. Is that like something somewhat new? Was there a time where you couldn't? Oh, for half a year. Ah! Well, there we go. There we go. Oh, I was like, do I take bump attack off? I don't think it's going to mean enough for any of these chapters. Specifically the ones in the jungle. Can they be on like, say, you know when, obviously, I, you know, I, uh, in the prologue, you got like the trampoline where you shoot up into like three coins. Can those be fake? Man, this don't do be pulsating. This don't do be pulsating. Yeah, if I see... Shooting stars or thunder rages, I definitely want to pick those up. I think right now I right now I have six, five, and four. Alright, where's the scarf? Where the scarf at? We have all four ruins keys, so we guaranteed can get this. It can be a dick and put it in the last room. Oh, you can actually adjust him to not lock your progression. Oh, interesting. I like the dynamic of Ralph can fuck you, funny enough. Yep, there's the artifact. That's five points. At this point, the artifact can't mean anything, so don't bother picking it up. Nope. There's one above us. Nope, that's a stone cap. I guess I'm doing these. Yeah. A little unfortunate. This is going to cost a lot of FP, but... Yeah, these are 15 FP fights, dude. I'm actually going to have to eat like a honey syrup or something in between. Oh. 
I suppose I could actually hit them early. Oh, actually, that's... Oh, this is perfect FP routing, dude. Look at this shit. Literally gonna walk out of here with zero FP. Yeah, already answered. Yeah, we're here for we're here for the scarf. This is a required double dip. Unfortunately, and it's making me go kind of deep here, which is not the biggest deal because you got to go through all this anyways. I mean, actually, no, we could have go moded the place, so this is like. Technically costing us time, I guess. Everybody's got to do it. You technically could have made calls to be like, oh, it's just at the end of the dungeon, but you know. Oh, I saw it. I wonder if that doesn't work. I saw uh, 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 Jay Cog, very accomplished speedrunner of this game. I saw him do something like that to kind of like clip up onto the steps. What's up, Derby? How you doing, buddy? Last night. But he did it with Super Boots. I wonder if Ultra Boots somehow like prevent that from working. Hey, there it is. There was. All right, now go to chapter seven. Now, how deep is the pyramid stone? It's going to be... Still not like they've slowly gotten less bad the seeds. It's still another one where we effectively we got every single major item in the game We didn't have to go like Disgustingly deep. I mean we had to do a fair amount in six I guess the only reason you needed to go to six was for super boots Yeah Yeah, that, and that was hard forced. You needed those super boots. Because by extension, that locked the Jade Raven, that locked Cooper, and Cooper locked Ultra Boots. So, yeah. If it wasn't for that, the magical, or the, uh, the Flower Fields was not required. Jay Hobbs is raiding with a party of 95. Yo, what's up, gamer? Thank you, buddy. Oh, okay. I was like, hold up. I picked up the fucking bucket. Holy shit. Joke a lot. Thank you for the 15 months. Code Gorilla, thank you for the 18 months. Hope you both are doing well. Yeah, well, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that, man. Were you doing some uh, Cage 2 Rando this morning, or what were you up to? Welcome, Raiders. I'm Spike Vegeta. If, if you're a fan of j Hobbs, you probably know me as well. I'm, uh, I'm doing a uh, Paper Mario randomizer. It's been a lot of fun. Been doing a lot of these lately. I am one item from go mode. I know the area it is in. We are going there. And then we can go to the end of the seat. Great job on all your interviews and everything this past week, bud. As usual, you killed it. 
Good job on the Crash 3 commentary as well. There's no, like, big ticket items still here, so... All right, see you, man. Have a good day, bud. Storm. <laughs> you know what? This is actually this is a good play. I realized I let myself run out of FP and I never filled it back up. Dreepy, thank you for the four years. Appreciate you, gamer. Hope you're doing well. There should be a block coming up soon. Uh, do I? I'll level up Paracarry here. Is there going to be one more block? There can be if I wanted to. Just have like a cheaper AoE. I don't think this is really worth the time. It's, I mean, like, I guess I forgot about it. It's also just the fact that, like, you do a lot of things between those fights and getting over here. You don't think about it, I think, just because you're going to a new chapter. I don't know. It is a randomizer. It feels like it's, if you do like I'm doing and you're, forcing yourself that you have to beat four specific chapters as opposed to any set of chapters, you're going to get a lot of these seeds where you got to full clear everything anyways, usually. Because so many of these items, the Pyramid Stone, the Lunar Stone, the, the Diamond Stone, the Last Tub of Castle Key, so many of these items are effectively ice rods from Link to the Past. And really, I just forgot there was going to be one forced fight that I didn't get my FP back up for back there. Okay. Am I a fan of Mario Maker? I think Mario Maker's cool. So we are here for one reason and one reason alone. Where to find the Pyramid Stone? And when I say Ice Rod, anyone not familiar with Link to the Past randomizer? Effectively, the Ice Rod is an item that can be anywhere because it locks so little. Whereas, like, some of this other stuff, like, yeah, Cooper was tough to find this seed, but he could only be so deep because he locked so much. So, like, after a while, they can only be so far. Whereas this, this Pyramid Stone, it sucks that it's up here, but there isn't much preventing it from being up there and requiring all these extra items to get to. Yeah, we're here for a Dorito. Nope. Saw another one of those earlier, so one of those is fake. I, yeah. Eh. Controls. Yeah. Still throws me off. Dude. So, fun fact... Supreme literally, when we were going over logic for this and like where all the items are and everything, Supreme did not know that check existed. So somehow Supreme was never burned by it. Nope. Oh, 
Looking at the wrong fucking one, dude. Oh, wait. This one's a little awkward to route back in. Because, yeah, you got to go do that up that top one first. Then you come back for this bitch. I never remember. I think it's like front right. I feel like I've actually gotten pretty lucky in a lot of times when I have to dip here. The item's somewhat early. Right. Hell yeah, you my girl. Nope. Okay. You needed the red key. Because that's everything you can get with just the blue key. Deeper we go. Yeah, this pyramid stone adding 15 minutes to the sea by itself. Wait, let's just save FP. Honestly, I probably should have just make it quaked. Thinking about it now, yeah. But do 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 do. How much is air raid? Don't know yet. I don't have him ultra upgraded. If I happen to be going past one more. I may ultra upgrade him. I don't know if you go by one late in chapter two or not. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, honestly, it's been a while since I've had to go over to this check. And of course, that was it. Okay. Okay, there is officially go mode. All right, so now back to the dry, dry ruins we go. Yeah, that, that's a pretty mean forced double dip of seven, double dip of two. How hard is it to play Paper Mario 64 Rando if it's your first time? Do you mean if you've never even played Paper Mario casually? I always recommend to people. I think it's just, I don't think you have to play the game casually to enjoy a randomizer, but I would always recommend it. I think it's good to have some casual context. Like I never speed ran Paper Mario, but I played it casually. You beat it multiple times, oh yeah. Then I think, I, I think it's an extremely accessible randomizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Cage 2, I've always said, like, I don't think it's, like, super unaccessible. I just wouldn't start on, like, Crit if it's your first time.
Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. They're actually already in their proper order. Yep. There's a really good online tracker for it. Not to toot our own horn, but I think this is a very fun way to play, but you certainly don't have to play with these hints and everything. Oh, that's right. I already hit the one outside. I could see him being a little tougher. This is, this clearly rolled either chapter six or seven. This might be chapter seven. If we, if we think six was vanilla, this is either five or seven then. So this may actually be kind of a hard boss. Oh, we'll see. And I'm still gonna check Ralph's bad shop for oddly enough badges. I, like, I kind of want to take him out of the equation. Still in beta? Yeah, I mean, it's still getting worked on. It's not a finished product yet, but you can get it on the uh, resources tab in the Discord. I gotta know when that's coming up, dude. So you could elect to just go and life shroom your way through this. Um, go on. How many life shrooms do I have? One, two, th I have, I have four. I am going to elect to just do that then. Discord channels am I in? A fair amount. I feel like not any more than anybody else. Mine are just all similar, you know, things, I guess. I think you go HP here, actually. My build is quite costly. I could take Mega Quake off after the next fight. Yeah, it's just shovel chapter difficulty. I just happened to roll chapter two being pretty high. Which it's still relative. Like a chapter seven difficulty chapter two is still going to be a lot easier than chapter seven itself rolling high. All right, there's all four of our chapters. Now we just got to run up and end Bowser's Terror. This, we might have had to go a little too deep for those items. It'll be close. I think we lost a bunch of time doing a bunch of shit in flower fields. You needed the super boots, but like technically you could have made the call. It felt like I was almost being maybe a little overly thorough. I mean, there's these amount of points there, but as long as you found the super boots, you were good. All right, let's check for if there's good, like a power plus badge or a mega jump badge or something. Okay, okay. 
That's okay, it's not like I really want those. Real quick. It's four checks. Alright, how much to 100% the tracker? Cubs, you get to 100 months subbed. On that day, I will 100% the tracker. Which will be not much different than the day normally is. This might be too cool about it. Yep. Honestly, I'll take that. So we didn't get Mega Jump. That's a little unfortunate. I do have Mega Smash. That only costs four FP, so I think it's fine. Yeah, we'll kind of see what our build is set up to be. So I think straight up it's got to be three five-pointers up here. Right, we can't truly clear the tracker. Dude, he went to the side. That was great. Yeah, it, that looks like they're just in the middle of the track, dude. Like, I, I don't know what to do about that. And they scan the middle of the floor until they get you. Yo, Coyote, thank you for the four months. Appreciate you. Yep, <laughs> literally a red, a blue, and a yellow berry, dude. So that means the blueberry could not have locked anything we needed. Because I don't think it was a replenishable location where the blueberry was beyond that. Same with, I guess, yeah, the red and the yellow berry, because I also don't think they were in replen replenishable spots. Because you technically, they're just items. You could eat them. Was it a sewer's chest? Yeah, does that replenish? Yeah, exactly. Actually, the first ones you find of them might not be able to... Uh, you might not be able to eat them. I think they may go into, like, a different part of your inventory, so you can't waste them. So I think the red and the yellow berry could have locked them. Actually, the yellow berry did. It guaranteed locked it. Okay, uh, Mega Smash, Mega Quake. Uh, yeah, the pluses are fine. I'd like to put on a power plus. Yeah, we can lose that. Go ahead and put on... Oh, wait. Power plus, damage dodge, sure. Yeah, and then we'll move some stuff around. And this is another one of those where my star peat or my uh, star points are coming in a little uh, a little late. So we will not get a level up the rest of the run. We're going to be just a little bit short. I, well, well, we lost some time there. Actually, what does this do? I was, uh, does it do anything? Fuck, 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 fuck. 
I was like, oh, go to Starstorm. Shit. This is what I wanted to use. Good RNG. Um, yeah, kind of what was like the most notable thing about this chapter? You had to find Cooper. Cooper locked a lot of the sea. <laughs> and it was a process getting to Cooper. He was in the jungle. Let's go. What? Badges. Mega Quake. I've got Mega Smash on. Let me put on. Uh, boom. We'll check those for those later. Let's put on the Defend Plus. Uh, actually, well, we are not putting on the Defend Plus. We are putting on Spike Shield. Uh, yeah, and then after that, we will put on more. Again, no Mega Jump. Power Jump is the best we've got for those. We'll put on triple dip for spike shield. But yeah, and other than that, unfortunately, I had to double dip into a chapters two and seven back and forth in order to get my go mode item sub three if we don't die it'll be a sub three yeah Say five eight, you know what? I think this is actually a good spot. I always have excess repel gels by the end. Just save the three life shrooms. Uh, this is good. That actually got him to attack. So now he's done. I think we're just going to go back to the box here. <laughs> yep, that's me. I think if you were only low on one of the one or the other HP or FP. How could you? Hey, fuck Junior Trooper. He an asshole. I've got to put on Spike Shield just for his dumb ass. Boobs, so you could put on a Defend Plus. Is there anything else I get? Yeah. Things are unfortunately, once again, kind of expensive. Yeah, I all dropped to 35. Out of curiosity, what is my setup there? Thunder. I can Thunderbolt, Thunder Rage, and Shooting Star. So that's 6, 11. Uh, 16, I could get him to 21. Um, I could have actually put on the FP plus here, because, yeah, I don't need triple dip right now. So is this now my end game build? Yeah. Yo, sick free. Thank you for the 58 months. Holy shit. Appreciate you, gamer. Hope you are doing well.
Yeah, so I'm gonna end up having a little lower FP. Yeah, the HP and the FP plus badges are just pretty expensive. I think I'm going to accept he's probably just going to heal here. What's up, Hollow? How you doing, buddy? Because there's a possibility if I sandbag there, he won't heal. Nah, he gonna heal now, yep. Yeah, so dealing 16, so this won't quite kill him. Blap. How much do you got on him? Cool. All right. Only one heal. Not bad. And we've got enough FP and whatnot. We can survive an attack. Yeah. So we're good for phase one of the next fight. About to go into a meeting. Nice, nice. Hopefully meeting's pretty chill. If Bowser isn't a dick, we secure a sub three here. Yeah, I don't think there's no, I don't I don't think there's anything different to the badge build. You could take off like I don't think yeah, does that net me anything? I don't think so. Oh, you can put on feeling fine, honestly. Yeah, that's actually, that's good coverage. Yeah. Now, if you fuck up the block timing, you're good. I forgot feeling fine only cost a badge point. So you get a full heal, HP and FP, after phase one. He's only going to attack you one time. And then when you go to the peach segment, when you come back, you get a heal. So that's part of, like, the routing of your HP and everything. Yeah, deal. It was weird. I didn't know how to work around that. There's math you should be doing every time to try to deal 24 HP. Just to maximize that. So then is the only reason you would have to worry is if your HP is so low that you can't survive an attack there.
Yeah, he's got to be nice. He needs to not. Okay, we got the three life shroom set up. So we'll be able to stay at low HP, which will hopefully, on average, prevent his healing as much. So that's why I actually don't like to go beyond, like, 25 HP. Some builds, sometimes I'll go 30. And obviously, if you have, like, no life shrooms, yeah, I do have to go more. I got five minutes to kill Bowser. Come on. I still only cut the three one time, actually. And this would once again be a sub three with almost full clearing the seed. There's a couple areas we didn't really have to go to. I never really went into the Forever Forest. I was able to skip over that. Technically, I could have ran through the forest, and that would have maybe been faster, because we actually one-cycled Chapter 3. But yeah, Chapter 7, you had to get balls deep in to beat this seed. Chapter 6, you had to find the Super Boots, which I think Super Boots, they were Water Stone locked, right? Yeah. So you needed to Yellow Berry and Water Stone to get to Sushi. Yeah. To know we don't have any setup for Peril Danger Strats. Yes, again, the number we are trying to get to is 6, 5, 5, and 5, so 15, so 21 HP. If I can get him to 21, then with triple dip, we can kill him. Need to watch my FP a little bit. I'm going to be using 4 FP up on Mega Smash each time. What you gonna do? What you gonna do right now? I've gotten worse at blocking that because of like all the others requiring later timing, dude. I just have. That's messed me up now. Cool, cool, love that. This is gonna put him at 22 HP because he'll he'll defend up here. This is where well, I mean, he might have done different stuff. If I was able to deal one more HP in the first phase. That'll kill me. Do we just push the damage now? I think now you just push damage at that unfortunate range. Oh, nice, GG. Okay, he was nice to us. He was nice to us. Cause I assumed he was gonna he was gonna heal there. Again, it feels like staying at low HP though is raising your odds. I think that right there was very lucky. I think that was only like a one in four. GG, we barely got it under the gun by a minute and a half. That is my second sub three. The frame perfect, 258.31. All right, let's see how others did with this seed. This is seed number four. Yeah, I was like, I think Ply had done this. So yeah, Ply got a 235, which makes sense. You're both better at the game and... I think probably the worst part of the routing was I almost was a little overly thorough in, in a chapter six. 
Yeah. Yeah, second place was uh, Agrotat, who only beat me by less than two minutes. May have wasted a lot of time not realizing one of the settings. Oh. I wonder what he didn't, what they didn't realize. You're not in here, are you, Arrow? I'm trying to think what they would have not known. And then my boy Sabby jumped in for his first seed. Got a 352, which is like, that's pretty good for your first seed. That is very, very good. I don't know if it's first he's done with the tracker, but yeah. All right, insert row below. Oh, not, not, whoop. Go back. Insert row below. Right, but the live stream brought me up to 10. I think from what people have told me, that's a, only a 25% chance. But because I didn't know where it was going to be, I didn't want to take the I didn't want to take the chance. So I said, let me just push his HP down as far as I can and try to get him to that 21 HP range. So we spent the BP on triple dead, but it didn't matter. Didn't ever end up actually using it. It means gift three subs. Yeah, you right, Spoon. You right. Well, that was fun. Second sub three. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Well, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the Paper Mario Randomizer. These continue to be fun. And we'll see you for the next one. We'll see you for Async 5. Later, gamers.